And now the center fielder, Alan Thanks, Santos. The center fielder, Alan Hello guys, it's me, Cars Head, this is AK Apple Car 95, and I'm doing a new baseball game this season, so it's going to be MLB The Show 22, so if you saw the first four parts of my video clips for MLB The Show, I didn't commentate because I was really busy uh, bringing my mom back home from San Diego, so yeah, she just arrived like around 12 hours ago, so yeah. So back to the chase. So, as the title says, these pitchers that I'm facing at bat, man, I keep striking out. Like I can't figure out what their pitches are and how to get for a fastball or a curveball. To tell you the truth, man. Oh, see, that's one of them. I keep. Do I do it too early or do it too late? And what can I say? I gotta. Like sometimes I'm not really. Check swing at open, you know, swings, you know, like when I time my swings. Yeah. It's like most of the time the pitchers throw me a ball and then I walk to first base right away. And, and is that a hit or not? Yep. I popped it right up to outfield. So, if you guys want to watch the rest of this video clip, go right ahead. It's around 30 minutes long, and I can guarantee you it'll be worth it if you want, if you're new to baseball. So, I make it happy to have a Y'all have a great day. Peace out. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Swings and misses. And a count even one and one. Hey, see it. Drive it. Let's go, big dog. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. pitch and a swing and a miss huge strikeout there go ahead run on base and next will be the cleanup hitter Taylor Colway for the fourth time tonight left-hand batter waits that's towards center Santos has a beat on it makes the grab and that'll end. one down here's the center fielder Alan Santos the center fielder and that's in there for strike one. Hey, come on, big dog. Got him. Now two away. Well, they've had a great plan. Ball guy to hit over 30 home runs, and he's still not done yet. That is extremely impressive. All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly, buddy. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Bell Boog, it becomes pretty difficult. Alan Santos now at the plate. Now batting, center fielder. Oh, it's sitting up something right here. Center. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Hey, get a good one. Get a good rip on it, huh? 
Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark. And now the first baseman, Adderlin Rodriguez. The first baseman, Adderlin. Now fly ball to right center. Santos turns and moving to his left. Nice grab on the run. Now it's the right fielder, Taylor Colway. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Right fielder. Here comes the pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up to third. Now two away. Digging in. Alan Santos. Now batting. Center fielder. Alan. In there and it's 0-1. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Colway brings it in, out number two. And here's the first baseman, Adderlin Rodriguez. Now batter, the first baseman, Adderlin Rodriguez. Into center, Santos settles under this one. And he makes the catch. And that's the third out. So one out with two aboard. Next to hit, Jose Azokar. Now that the center fielder. And the pitch. Jose Azokar. Dives and he can't hang on. Robertson over to second, but no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. So up next, Alan Santos. Now that the center fielder, Alan. Santos. I say it went. The next pitch misses. One and one. Hey, let it rip. Let it rip. Let it go. Going to count one and two. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. The punch out there, and there's two down. A shutout in this one, three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire out. Dylan Santos, the good. next to hit, the center fielder, Alex Santos, and that one wrapped foul. Two down, nobody on. And it's one and one. They say it went. One and two. See you drive it like you can. Let's go. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And here's the catcher, Tyler Malone. The catcher, number 33, Tyler Malone. In the air, center field. And a base hit. And now the center fielder, Alan Santos. Now batting. <laughs> the center fielder, Alan Santos. Get your pitch drive. Let's go, big dog. Good spot. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether... Makes the catch one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but... Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Domingo no, Leyva. The designated hitter, Domingo Leyva. Out there to center. Santos under it. And there's one down. So digging in, Alan Santos. Now batting, center fielder, Alan Santos. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Baker hey, leads go, off kid. first with one away. Right Next offering is in for a strike. 
Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best nope, pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. One ball, two strikes, Miguel. Hey, come on now. One time. Right here. And he deals. Stays alive. Hey, like you stand up there, huh? One, two now. Swings and misses. Two out. Stood absolutely no chance. So up next, Olivier Basabe. He's a one-two. This one in the air center field. Santos makes the catch. That's out number two. Here's the center fielder, Alan Santos. Now batting, center fielder, Alan. First pitch, and he just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two outs. In the dirt, blocked. And he dives in ahead of the tag. All right, come on now. Let it fly. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Come on, man. Get your pitch up there pitch and there's a ball this is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point oh, in the ball God. game you right know right that they don't want to walk you so you're going to get a pitch to hit you just better not miss it next offering finds the zone of the count is full swinging a foul ball at the plate they'll do it again Let's go now. One time. One time. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Here's the third baseman, Olivier Basabe, for the now fourth ten. time tonight. Number 10. Swung out, belted. That one's carrying. And out of here. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. So here's the cleanup hitter, Joshua Mears. Now batting. Right fielder, Joshua Muir. That's out to center field. Santos drifts towards it, drops into the glove. Runner tagging from third. He scores on the sack fly, and it's now a six-run lead. Man, there's a sack fly to bring home. A and this one finishes with a final of eight to one. For Chris Singleton and our oh, entire outstanding, we'll hit next. A small guy to hit over 30 home LA. runs, and he's still not done yet. That is extremely impressive. Next pitch downstairs, and it's one to know. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. The hitter early and off balance on that swing. If I'm the pitcher, I'm taking a little bit more off. See if you can get him to chase something in the dirt. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball three. And that one hammered way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. A towering shot to right. And they jump out front. It's one nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Alan Santos getting ready to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. First offering misses badly for ball one. Now one and two. Tied up here in the early going. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And two away now. Got him out on the front. One gone runner at first. Now at the plate, the Michael back. Cantu. The first baseman. Michael Cantu. Gets under and pops no it up. Ball, Robertson no on the move. 
He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there are two down. Alan Santos now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. The center fielder. Alan. In there for strike one. Hey, kids, see it. Drive it like you can. And the lefty with the 0-1. Out front and foul to the left side. Next nope. offering misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Move to second. Romeri back on a dive. Romeri, the runner at second with one away. And one time right now, kid. Here we go. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, that one might sting for a bit, but it helps the team and it boosts the OBP boot. Sometimes that trade-off is worth it, but you know, sometimes it's not. And that's a base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Luke and Baker, the next to hit. A one down. Ground ball left side could be two. Merrill toss the second, and that's two. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Luis Liberato. Leading off. One, two now. The left fielder, Luis. High fly Liberato. ball out to center field. Santos under it, puts it away for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like. So two down now, and here is Jorman Rodriguez. One for two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Santos makes the catch. And, and welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Malone. The catcher, number 33. That one ripped. Malone. Back there turning and looking and it's gone runner at third nobody out and now it's the now switch hitting second baseman base. Domingo Leyva and that one is lifted in the air base hit and a run and a score Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Hey, double him up. Let's go. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Santos racing over to make the catch. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the center fielder, Alan Santos. The pitch. Off the mark there, and that is ball one. In the air, foul off first. Cantu gets there, he's under it, makes the catch, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit. Back here at the ballpark, now it's the shortstop, Jackson Merrill. Righty delivers. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. And that'll get down for a hit. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. 8-3 the final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB Regans. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. And a 1-1. Out to center. Santos moving under this one makes the grab two down here's the center fielder Alan Santos Batting Get third. Driving. let's go Ken. the center fielder Alan Santos and that's in there for strike one it's a good change up to hit up in the zone I don't think he recognized it I'm sure he'd love to have that one back and a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Come on, 
big dog. Get your pitch. That misses, and the count is one and two. Popped up left side. Makes the catch in a goal. An inning of the no score here. Out of the third inning, here's the left fielder, Michael Curran. For San Antonio, the left fielder. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Santos, as this one sized up, hauls it in for the out. And now the first baseman, Adderlin Rodriguez. This to center field, Santos going back, back some more. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Ball back in quickly. Runner holds it third. Down the third baseman, Olivier Basabe. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In the air, out towards right center. Santos glides to his left, snags it on the run. Inning is over. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth, and now the center fielder, Alan Santos. The center fielder. Martinez back to work. Swings and misses. That's strike one. And here it comes. And strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. And the next pitch is way outside couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning hey, out over the plate ball. very susceptible for the two seamer here let's see what he throws got him swinging and one gone so up next Alan Santos now so back. clutch you could he'll argue that he's been this team's Alan. MVP this year first pitch and that's in for a strike you can do it no one better Robertson off of first with two away Oh, and two as he waves at that one. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. And down on strikes he goes. Good job of damage control. Top of inning number seven. And now Olivier Basabe. And that one in the air center field. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Michael Curry digs in now. And he's already singled in this game. Center field. That's a hit. And that turns the lineup over. Runner at first with two away. Alan Santos will hit next. The center fielder. Alan. In there, and it's 0 1. At the belt, and fires. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third at bat. At the play, Taylor Colway. Now the wind in the pitch. The right field. Taylor. That's oh. towards center. Santos settles underneath it, makes the grab, and that's the inning. So a ninth back here, and this one down, runner at third. Here's the center fielder, Alan Santos. Oh, and Boog, I'd say he's due. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Got him!
Baseball players are notoriously a superstitious crowd. Kellen Lee with me. Kellen, we've talked before about normalizing routines to help drive success. What is the difference between routine and superstition? Yeah, sometimes players use superstitions and routines interchangeably. But the important difference between a superstition and a routine is that a routine is something that we do to prepare for something in the future. A superstition is something that we feel like we have to do in order to be successful. And if we don't, we're not going to be successful. So I help them understand that and establish a, a routine to help them better prepare for a game or for whatever they're doing in the future. Okay, so let's say that I'm a player in the organization who insists I cannot get a hit. I can't do it unless I am wearing batting gloves with the left glove a different color than the right glove. What do you say to that? How do you handle that as a coach? <sighs> well, I'm sorry to say, I don't think we have enough time on the podcast to address that particular question. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if a player comes to me with a similar conversation, I'll challenge them and ask them, is what you're doing actually helping you prepare to compete? And if the answer is yes, and they can honestly say yes, then great, that could be part of your routine. But if it's, you feel like it's something you have to do to be successful, we might have a more extended conversation about what is a superstition versus what is a routine. Well, it hasn't been all roses for him lately. He's been scuffling a little bit, and sometimes that light at the end of the tunnel can seem pretty darn so I'm coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 9-5. You all have a great day, and peace out.